Digestion and absorption. Part one. Digestive system. The human digestive system consists of the alimentary canal and the association gland. Part one. Alimentary canal. The alimentary canal being with an anterior opening, the mouth, and it open out posteriorly through the anus. The mouth leads to the buccal cavity or oral cavity. The oral cavity has a number of teeth and a muscular tongue. Each tooth is embedded in a socket of jawbone. This type of attachment is called theocodont. The majority of mammals, including human beings, forms two sets of the teeth during their life: a set of temporary milk or deciduous teeth, replaced by a set of permanent or adult teeth. This type of dentation is called the diphyodont. An adult human has 32 permanent teeth which are of four different types it is called heterodont dentation namely incisor canine premolar and molar arrangement of teeth in each half of the upper and lower jaw in the order incisor canine premolar and molar is represented by a dental formula which in human is 2 1 2 3 divided by 2 1 2 3 the hard chewing surface of the teeth made up of animal helps the mastication of food the tongue is a freely movable muscularis organ attached to the floor of the oral cavity by the frenulum the upper surface of the tongue has small projections called papillaries some of which bear taste bud the oral cavity lead into a short pharynx which serves as a common passage for food and air the esophagus and the trachea that is windpipe open into the pharynx a cartilaginous flap called epiglottis prevents the entry of food into the glottis opening of the windpipe during swallowing the esophagus is a thin long tube which extended posteriorly passing through the neck thorax and the diaphragm and lead to the j-shaped bag like structure called stomach a muscular spincher that is gastroesophageal regulate the opening of esophagus into the stomach the stomach located in the upper left portion of the abdominal cavity has four major parts first cardiac portion into which the esophagus open a fundus region body main central region and a pyloric portion which open into the first part of the small intestine small intestine is distinguishable into three regions a c-shaped duodenum a long colloid middle portion jejunum and a highly coiled ileum the opening of the stomach into the duodenum is guarded by the pyloric spincher ileum open into the large intestine it consists of cecum colon and rectum cecum is a small blind sac which hosts some symbiotic microorganism a narrow finger like tubular projection the vermiform appendix which is a vestigial organ arise from the cecum. The cecum opens into the colon. The colon is divided into four parts, ascending, transverse, descending. And a sigmoid colon, the descending part opens into the rectum, which opens out through the anus. The wall of alimentary canal from esophagus to rectum possess four layers, namely serosa, muscularis, submucosa, and mucosa. Serosa is the outermost layer and is made up of thin mesothelium, epithelium of visceral organs, with some connective tissues. Muscularis is formed by smooth muscles, usually arranged into an inner circular and an outer longitudinal layer. An obliquely muscular layer may be present in some region. The mucosa layer is formed of loose connective tissue containing nerves, bloods, and lymph vessels. In duodenum, glands are also present in submucosa. The innermost layer lining the lumen of the alimentary canal is the mucosa. This layer forms irregular folding, that is rugi, in the stomach and small finger-like folding called villi in the small intestine. The cell lining the villi produces numerous microscopic projection called microvilli. Giving a brush border appearance, these modifications increase the surface area enormously. Villi are supplied with a network of capillary and a large lymph vessel called the lacteal. Mucosal epithelium has goblet cells which secrete mucus that help in lubrication. Mucosa also form glands in the stomach, that is gastric gland, and a crypts in between the bases of villi in the intestine crypts of lubricants. All the four layers shown modified in different part of the alimentary digestive gland. The digestive gland associate with the alimentary canal including the salivary gland, the liver and the pancreas. Saliva is mainly produced by three pair of salivary gland. The pyrotid that is cheek, the submaxillary or submandibular that is lower jaw and the sublegunals below the tongue. These glands situated just outside the buccal cavity secreted salivary juice into the buccal cavity. Liver is the largest gland of the body weight up to 1.2 to 1.5 kg in an adult human. It is situated in the abdominal cavity just below the the diaphragm and has two lobes. The hepatic lobules are the structural and the functional unit of liver containing hepatic cell arranged in the form of cords. Each lobule is covered by a thin connective tissue sheet called the glacians capsule. The bile secreted by the hepatic cell passes through the hepatic ducts and is stored and concentrated in the thin muscular sac called the gallbladder. The duct of gallbladder, that is cystic duct, also with the, the hepatic duct from the liver forms the common bile duct. The, the bile duct and the pancreatic duct open together into the duodenum as the common hepatopancreatic duct which is guarded by a spincher called the spincher.
future of ODA. The pancreas is a compound both exocrine and endocrine elongated organs situated between the limbs of the C-shaped duodenum. The exocrine portion secretes an alkaline pancreatic juice containing enzymes and the endocrine portion secretes hormones like insulin and glucagon.